This is an autonomous car developed by Google, a Prius that drives itself. On top is a spinning laser scanner. Google says these cars have logged hundreds of thousands of miles and can react 15 times faster than a human driver. Here at the Proving Ground, we see one solution to the problem of limited parking space. <laughs> Ah, that's just what you need, dear. An optional feature on the Molecular Mark IV is this seat for the mother-in-law. Look out for that truck up ahead. Slow down, it's a red signal. Watch that rocket on your left. Shall we drop mother off now, dear? Well, she's had lunch. Why wait? And furthermore, I don't know why you ever married an Alice. <laughs> you had so many better opportunities. All right, back in 1960, those are some of the ideas that folks had for cars of the future. But Hanna-Barbera's Jetsons may not have been that far off. I mean, you saw what we saw, a driverless car. Joining me tonight with more on this story is HLN digital lifestyle expert and contributor Mario Armstrong. We also have with us Chet Buchanan, radio host at 98.5 KLUC in Las Vegas, where these cars are on the road, believe it or not. <laughs> Unreal. All right, Ma Mario, first of all, how on earth does this thing work? Well, it's going to drive you only to Google search results. So it's all advertiser driven. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it works because basically it has some art artificial intelligence built into it, GPS sensors, and other technologies that basically are surveying and understanding the area. Look, there are sensors all throughout this vehicle. They know It knows the lay of the land. They did this test drive already with a blind man behind the vehicle. And their test models have already driven 200,000 miles. So they're doing something right, and they have the right technology to make it work. 